Critical minerals are used in the high-tech manufacturing sector to make things like robots, wind turbines, drones, electric cars and even weapons. Governments around the world consider them essential to the green energy transition and national security. Deposits of these minerals, like rare earths, lithium and cobalt, can be found on most continents, but they're tricky and expensive to get out of the ground. China has consistently invested heavily in mining, refining and processing critical minerals at home and internationally. In 2023 alone, Chinese firms invested $16 billion in overseas mining projects. Over the 10-year span from 2013 to 2022, China spent $679 billion across 150 countries, much of it directed towards supporting mining operations in countries like Chile, Bolivia and Indonesia. The focus was on building self-sufficiency. Now, China controls a significant portion of critical minerals supply chains. While global demand surges, the International Energy Agency forecasts demand will triple by 2030 and quadruple by 2040. Driven by concerns about supply chain vulnerabilities and geopolitical tensions, the US is trying to reduce its dependence on China for critical minerals by boosting domestic production. The EU is spending $24 billion to diversify its critical minerals supply, including 13 new strategic raw minerals projects outside its borders. The UK has published a strategy to enhance its domestic capabilities in mining and processing. Australia, Canada and other nations have launched major funding programmes and resource-rich countries have been working to retain more value from their mineral resources. In a world of high geopolitical tensions, critical minerals have emerged as critical to safeguarding global energy and economic security.